Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be taking a look at the Extra Wallet from Akini and this time around with a personalized touch. First off, a huge thanks to the Akini team for not only sending me this personalized wallet, but for also sharing with us a behind the scenes of the machining and engraving process. For those unfamiliar with the Extra Wallet from Akini, the Extra Wallet is made in the US, more specifically in California. Akini is a family owned business that designs slim wallets geared towards minimalists and their extra wallet has a unique design that is both practical and visually appealing. The wallet is made from 100% metal, it is machined from 6061 aluminum and has a powder coating that gives it the tough looking texture. So this wallet lets you customize the numbers of cards that it can hold from 4 all the way up to 10 cards. So I decided to go with 8 cards again since I only have 6 cards and that leaves me with some room for when I get gift cards or reward cards. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the customization. So the personalization interface and process is pretty simple. You can either choose a design that they offer or upload your own image. And they have some cool ones to choose from. If you decide to go with your own design, just tap on upload image and select the picture that you want. At the beginning, you will get a prompt letting you know that it does not engrave in color. Also, some images are easier than others to engrave. And for that reason, instead of sending out my current logo, I uploaded a simplified version of my logo. And this ended up looking really great on the wallet. So this lets you rotate, resize, and move the image anywhere within the safe margins. You can also put some text on here and you get quite a few different textiles to choose from. So the quality of the engraving is very good. It came out very clean. They did a fabulous job. You can also have the inner spring engraved and this is how mine looks. The lines at the bottom of the G doesn't look as clean. You can see some little imperfections there, but it's not something you will be seeing often, so it's fine. It looks pretty cool. You can also select from one of their pre-made designs. So my personalized credit card matches really well with the customized wallet, so I don't really use the cover plate. And this is something you can use to cover up sensitive information or to just make it look cleaner if your cards are all beat up and scratched up. So the cover plate doesn't take up a card space. They made space for it. So in reality, this wallet can hold nine cards. Sliding in the cards is very easy. You can slide them in from either end of the tension arms you can slide one card at a time or the entire stack. And there's a satisfying click when the cards snap into place. And that sound lets you know that the cards are secured. So even the hardest shake won't send your cards flying out. I recommend you put the cards that you use most often in the front of the stack or at the bottom, since those are the quickest ones you can get out. For the cards in the middle, it's also pretty simple and fast to get out once you do it a couple of times. All you have to do is just start pushing them out one by one until you get to the card that you want. When you get to it, push it out so that it is the last one on the stack, you can then slide it out with your other hand, and after you do this a few times, it will feel like a simple motion. If you have more than 10 cards, you can put 3 more cards on the back here for a total of 13 cards max. Now if you have more than that and you need to carry them with you all the time, then this isn't the wallet for you. So this back slot is not intended for your credit cards, it is designed to hold business cards. But since I don't have any business cards, I just put my cards in here. I don't recommend just putting one card back here because it can slide out. If you really want to carry just one card back here, make sure you put the cover plate over it to secure it in place. For the business covers, you can choose between a black one, a white one, or a carbon fiber one. So this time I went with a white cover, but I like how the carbon fiber looks with the gray wallet more. And I ended up putting the white cover on my light blue wallet, which I think fits it better. As for carrying cash, this can comfortably hold up to 10 bills folded in half with my 6 cards in there. If you carry less cards than that, then you can squeeze in an extra few bills in there. I wouldn't go as far as keeping 2 cards in here because then you risk having your cash light out if you only have like 2 or 5 bills in there. If you are only going to be carrying 2 cards, then you will want to go with the 4 card configuration. I typically carry no more than $50 in cash since a lot of stores take debit or credit. So this is how my wallet usually looks and my cash is secure in place with the cards pushing down on it. I have not had any issues with cash falling out at all. You can quickly get your cash out by pushing all the cards to the side and this is the same way that you will put the cash back in. This also has a strap loop so you can put a lanyard or some other accessories on it. You can also attach a GPS tracker so you can quickly find your wallet when you misplace it. Now that I have had this wallet for almost a year, I can comment on its durability. This wallet has fared really well against scratching, you can't really notice any scuffs on the exterior. But you can see some of the paint scratched off on the inside from the friction caused by the car sliding in and out. Now one thing to note is that the cards will wear down on the edges depending on how often you slide them out and in. 
With mine you can see that the corners have worn down and for me this is not an issue at all since I typically replace my cards every 2-3 to three years. I have been using these compact and simplistic wallets for years so I'm already used to carrying only a few cards and a couple of dollar bills with me. But if you're coming from a thick buy for wallet then this will take you some time to get used to. Alright so that concludes today's video. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe for more tech related videos and I will talk to you on the next one.